All right. Time for some plunge power. <laughs> Junk. You've acti activated the ancient TNT charges. From ancient Acme Co. Mm hmm. Everything's already collapsing. This is, it's just taking a long time. It's a really big place. That, that's why you gave that pillar a little high five. It was to say goodbye. Goodbye. We all know how this is gonna end. Come on now. Yeah. He's saying goodbye. Careful. Lift it gently. Yeah, we don't want it leaking into the water supply. <laughs> what? Come on, pay attention. You gotta be kidding me. We gotta take that thing out. Any ideas? Drake, don't peek around that corner anymore. Well, You're already exposing like all of you. It's just a winch. What do you expect? Gotta flank him. I don't know. Toss a grenade. They brought one winch. Mm -hmm. Damn it! Where is he? One guess. I wish the reveal was, he looks for Sully again, and he's just a skeleton. No! Sully is so much sneakier than you, dude. <laughs> uh, better hope this uh, trip-out drug isn't absorbed through the skin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, snap, the Freemasons did it. <laughs> My only winch! Well, they brought a spare winch, but it's their only, uh, crane boom. Aww. Come on, we've gotta go! Run! Come on, son! Get up! Come on! Please tell me you didn't swallow any of that water. I don't think so. I drank a ton of it. <laughs> you think he could his brain could come up with worse things than he's actually seen and lived through? <laughs> I heard everybody talking about the gin, I figured this is where it was. It tasted pretty weak though. <laughs> they just want to make sure you get buried here. That's mm -hmm. all. <laughs> I love that there's that one bad guy going, oh my god, the city's collapsing, because he's like the new guy, and he hasn't seen this shit happen a million times before like the other dudes. He, he actually read the dossier on Drake. Yeah. Every th This dude can't go anywhere without everything collapsing in the most cinematic way possible. Like... It'll look cool as hell. Bring your camera, also your running shoes. Yeah. I think the grenade launcher in, the, in two and three is honestly one of my favorite grenade launchers in all the. In oh, well, it any makes game. the noise. The, the noise helps out a lot, but the arcing it feels really good and kind of intuitive. Even though, like the reticle doesn't really help you guess how much you have to arc <laughs> it. It's just the the grenade has a predictable arc that feels good. Robo Sully getting into position. Come on, I used three. Uh, uh, Sounds. I use three voice lines. <laughs> Just get on the crank, Sully. Ooh. When that guy ragdolled, he had his hands up next to his head, like, oh, whatever. Can you get on the giant hamster wheel? Because I want to get on the giant hamster wheel. Uh, yes. Not from this angle, though. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Over here, Sully. Kid, I'm not going to be around forever, but I am going to last through this game. It's all about how I'm not going to be around forever. <laughs> Damn it, Sully. Damn it, Sully. Ryan the hamster wheel. 
Or maybe the wheel from the price is right, I don't know. <laughs> Come on, big Sully, big Sully. <laughs> There's one single RPG man here who's a jerk who he misses a fair amount of time, but sometimes he can get you. And he's kind of hard to figure out where he's coming from. He's way over there. Oh, look at him. Hey, buddy. I, I hope you brought his telephoto lens for all the carnage. <laughs> okay. I think it happens three times in this game, and that was the last one. There are actually specific parts where they script a grenade throw at you. <laughs> like, last video, right near the end, when we're going up the stairs and somebody throws a grenade down there, that's a scripted thing that always happens. And it's just to say, hey, look up, because there's very little chance you're going to get hit by that grenade. Yeah, they actually do it once in Uncharted 2 as well, uh, when you're escaping the temple of Chloe before Jeff eats it. The temple of Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that's him. Him, Drake. Lie flat. Quicksand does not actually suck. <laughs> Nathan! Drake! Are you worthy of the name? Yes, I'm half dragon. Um, <laughs> I have a hoard of treasure. Elizabeth, prove your greatness. I got nothing to prove. Hurry, give me a hand. You can't just let her die. The hell he can't. They <laughs> can't <laughs> All right, now I'm happy he survived. <laughs> yeah. Like, his first story beats, it would have been much better if he had died, but I still love so much. They still put in some moments. <laughs> yeah. Get the hell out of there! Hold on! No! Nate! No! <laughs> wow! I lost my grandma! <laughs> Where are your dark mirror? No! Up here! Hurry it up! Sully, we gotta get out of here! The whole place is coming down! Three goddamn bullets! How the hell did they do this? Three bullets! Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Sully. Please never die, even if it would be better in the long run. Yeah. Also, the sand here looks amazing. Chance! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually only had very faint memories of this level when I replayed it for the LP, and then I was like, wow, this is better than I remember. Uh, damn, this is great. Yeah. Oh, look at that. The sand looks like sand. Yeah. I don't know how it looks that good. It, it's not just a, a fuzzy, blurry wave of, of dust. Yeah. They fall down, and, and Sully has to figure out which one is the real Drake. <laughs> the final boss fight is actually a little different, because there's no gunfight. It's entirely melee. Nice. And I actually feel, I feel like they made the boss fight like this because they had read internet complaints about people talking about how they, a lot of people did not like the final boss fight of the first two games. And they figured instead of making a bullet sponge guy, it would be better to switch over to something like Melee Fight. Well, this is a really cool looking fight. It's, the, the animations for all the counters and grabs and stuff is really cool. Like, it's very simple mechanically, but it's, it's neat. That knife would later go on to have a starring role in the first Far Cry 4 trailer. <laughs> also, I love that animation right there where you just fucking, you just floor him. <laughs> yes. That, it looks like it hurts so bad. <laughs> God. Well, it couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Yeah.
Oh no, Leon, watch out for Krause's giant knife. <laughs> Oh no, my gun! <laughs> what kind of fight is it now? I lost count! <laughs> oh shit! Is there a way to not fall? Uh, no. You, you always get knocked down at, the, at that point. I like that there's clearly a path, but then you fall again. Like, no, no, there yeah, is not! And, and then Fooled the you. path you originally go for just breaks off, yeah. One of your soupy super monkey lunches. Thank goodness for Arabian Tenzin. Mm -hmm. He's not around for nearly as long as Tenzin was, but he I, he's still cool. You can play as him in multiplayer, right? There's a there's yeah. a Salim skin. Good. Oh, totally. Exclusively use Salim. There's also a donut Salim. <laughs> okay, maybe mix it up with that. <laughs> Just for flavor. There's also a oh donut Sully. He's the scariest one because he doesn't have a neck. <laughs> That's just retirement, Sully. So much for immeasurable wealth, huh? Well. Not much, is it? It's enough. Yeah. Yeah. I like that Salim knew exactly where to go. Mm hmm. Like, uh, Marlowe could have just interviewed the locals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Circumvented the whole adventure. <laughs> Just torture one local and you'd know. Like, right away. Oh, it robbed the pillars? Yeah, it's right down there! Everybody knows where it is, come on. You really shouldn't go, but it's it's yeah. to the left there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just got something to need saying, that's all. All right. What is it? Look, I, um... I had a lousy father. A lousy childhood. I hit 40, I figured I was never gonna have a son of my own. Hell, I never wanted one. What the hell do I know about raising a kid? <laughs> then you came barreling into my life. Look, Good thing the nuns did the hard part. part. You know, you were already 15. It's kind of smooth sailing from there. A lot All I had to teach you was how to drink. A lot. And, uh, well, I am not a perfect man. You're not proposing, are you, Sully? I mean, I love you, uh, but... Stop. Just stop being a wise-ass for one second. How long have you been carrying that around? Too long. Thought I'd lost it. Here's the thing, kid. We don't get to choose how we start in this life. Real greatness... It's what you do with the hand you dealt. Now carve that on that ring. <laughs> hey. Hey, you. So, hey. <laughs> how's things? Going somewhere? I almost died five times back there. How many did you? Maybe. I'm really sorry about your ring. Yeah. It's all right. I swapped it for something better. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's my boy, smooth operator. <laughs> Let's get out of here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> come on, we're this way. But come on. Found a donkey. 
Everybody loves donkey rides. We could all share a donkey. It's a real big donkey. Sully, that's an elephant. <laughs> yeah, biggest donkey they had. <laughs> no way. Eh, it's not as nice as the one you two wrecked four years ago, but it'll do. <laughs> Come on. Let's see if I can remember how to fly the goddamn thing. Hey, this has parachutes, right? Oh, yeah. Three. Eh, more or less. The only, the only mode of transportation Drake rode in this entire game that did not blow up or crumble to pieces was that horse. That's why it should have been a giant donkey. Yeah. Also, these credits are sped up a lot because uh, they're 15 minutes long. Jesus. <laughs> a lot of people were involved with this game. Well, thanks to all these people, they did a bang up job, really. Yeah. I can't think of anything in this game that was really lacking. So there. I, the only, I th think a couple, like some of the encounter design could be better. It could have, I think some of them could have, have less people, less enemies yeah. in them. Drake could have washed up on a different stretch of beach than the one he started on after the, the boat uh, sidebar. Yeah, I think the the segment in Syria was the slowest part of the game. Um, it was like my least favorite part, but I think this game is better than most people remember it being. I still like Uncharted 2 more, because it was better paced, I think. Man, that was a great ride, though. Yeah. Really. Like, Just look at all this. Remember and, that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was forever ago, but it was pretty awesome. And I, yeah, I think Uncharted 3 has the best, like, big, like, cool moments and set pieces out of the three. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody who gave it a watch, everybody who uh, sent it to a friend for them yeah. to watch. They get double thanks. Mm hmm. So, unfortunately, several of the. a couple key people who worked on this game don't work for Naughty Dog anymore. Like Amy, Amy Hennig. Uh, she was one of the, the top figures in Naughty Dog, that had been there for quite a long time, helped write both, like, all the Uncharted's. She had also written stuff for the Legacy of Kane games, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, but she has left Naughty Dog, and now she's with Visceral, who is currently working on a new Star Wars game. So all's well that ends with Yoda. Mm-hmm. Um, a couple other people left. One of the creative directors, one of the art directors, I believe. But everybody was saying it was like a. It seemed like there was a weird falling out going out going on with people in Naughty Dog. But it seems like. The people just wanted to work on something different. And it doesn't really seem like they're having any trouble replacing those people with other talent. I mean, yeah, who wouldn't want to work on this series? Yeah. Or like, anything Naughty, Dog's yeah, Naughty Dog Naughty Dog does really. Uh like to thank everybody who made pretty pictures. Yes. Like uh like Rad 90 skateboard Drake. <laughs> oh yeah, he was great. That's I great. love that cartoony Sully. Yeah, yeah. S Sully's first car, the Flintstones mobile. <laughs> yeah. Great stuff. Um, so this is the end of Uncharted 3, but there's still going to be a couple extra videos after this one. That's going to be me and Snark Cookie going through Uncharted 3's multiplayer. That's that's still running? Yeah. Hooray! The multiplayer for this game is free to play now, and all the DLC except for one thing is free, too. They made all the maps free. Hooray! Um... There is no bonus video for this LP for unlockables because unfortunately this game does not have any in the single player. Oh. But there, you can still unlock every single character from all three games to play as in multiplayer though, so there's that at least. That's uh, cool. But unfortunately, like no cheats, like low gravity or the really weird Drakes from Uncharted One. Yeah. <laughs> I miss those guys. No next gen filter. Uh, the, the joke's pretty old by this point. The joke's pretty old by now. If you want to do next gen, if you want to do next gen, you'd just be looking through Drake's. You'd just be in first person, and you'd just be a floating arm with a gun. And you'd have to integrate a uh, fake uh, team chat. Yeah, just it'd be fake team really chat. Really scripted social stuff. And some sort of other social media integration thing going on, and. So, so look for that in Uncharted 4. <laughs> well, speaking of Uncharted 4, uh, in like 20 minutes, Sony's E3 thing starts. Maybe Uncharted 4 will be there. Who knows? 
You know, last time we talked about an upcoming sequel. Oh, God, no. <laughs> it was Beyond Good and Evil 2 oh. in 2008. Oh, there was already a teaser for a <laughs> Charlie 4 hours. If that doesn't happen, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go rain right to my coffin and just die. <laughs> Video games are dead. Video games can't be dead. Look what's right around the corner. <gasps>